guys so i'm back at it again with another video okay and it's a hair video featuring ali pearl today so i am going to show you how i made this wig majority of the the video i'll show you how i made it um it's kind of repetitive but they sent me two 24 inch uh bundles of the deep weight <coughs> texture hair that they have i'm sorry um, and two 26 inches and then one 20 inch closure and this lace is actually Swiss lace It's the first time I've worked with it and it was so Easy to work with it was so nice and I'm just using a regular um, dome style wig cap You can get that off Amazon. I'll link it below But yeah, this hair you guys I've never had curly hair before and This might have converted me because it was so pretty personally on myself i didn't like it wasn't my favorite favorite look for myself because i have such a small body and a small head that it was just so much hair for my little frame but other than that this hair y'all 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 will see like when i um when i'm done how i play with it you can see how good the quality is it's so nice it's so bouncy it doesn't feel they it feels so i actually put a um I did put like a conditioning treatment on it, which I didn't show, but um, before that it felt so soft and I, I don't know what I expected, but it was nice. So first I'm about to sew the closure on. It's such an easy process. All I did was like put my T-pins exactly where I wanted them. I put the closure in between my two lines you see, and I just pinned them down so I would know exactly where I was sewing and that was it so i just sewed all around the closure and then next we're going to start with our first bundle of our 26 inches So all I'm doing is showing you guys that with this type of wig cap, you do not want to go all the way down to the band. You just want to go to the first layer. That way when you put the wig on, it can still move. So I'm, I'm showing you like right there that I didn't um, go all the way through. Because like I said, you don't want to put it on and you can't even stretch it because you've sewn it too deep into the elastic or whatever. And you're going to be messed up. So yeah, I'm just gonna sew this all the way across this entire bundle, do the second bundle, and then the third and the fourth bundle. I used all the hair. Um, I had to, it's just so pretty. But um, yeah, so that's the first, the first track that I have down. And I did double with them. So yeah. So this is what I meant by how pretty, look how pretty this hair is. Do you see that? That is, this was fresh out the pack too. This was before I even did the conditioning treatment that I did. Like, do you see all the body? Do you see the definition? Do you see the shininess? Like, girl, whew. Anyway, so next I'm just taking the wig off my mannequin. That way I can show you how I'm about to, I'm about to cut this, um, 
the rest of this what is this it's a wig cap I'm about to cut the rest of this off that way you know you can't see it underneath the closure and then we're gonna get to bleaching the knots I usually do this before I even make the wig I was kind of moving backwards in this video trying to hurry up and get it done but usually I'll take care of my closure before I even sew it onto my wig caps but like I said, I was going, I, I forgot, I was skipping steps. So yeah, I'm gonna take that off. Then I'm gonna go grab my bleach. I'm making it a thick, pasty consistency. That way we don't go through the knots, which I ended up doing on, pur on purpose. I know it sounds crazy, but I wanted to show y'all how to fix um, whenever you do bleach through the knots and it does touch the hair and it over processes. See, a hot ass mess. So to fix that, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you just get some Adore dye, any dye will do, but I just get the Adore dye and I just go touch up the roots with the mascara wand. So there's a little hack for the day. And I let it sit and then you just wash it out. So next, all I'm gonna be doing is getting my elastic band that I ordered off Amazon. Girl, you see how much is on that? This one like $4 for all of this. So all I'm gonna do is um, actually sew each end of the the amount that I cut off um, onto my closure because I am gonna be making this a glueless wig so yeah all I'm just gonna do is this side and then the other side and that way it'll be tight once you put it on so you know with or without a a uh, a wig cap or some glue you're gonna be good it's too hot for glue right now anyway y'all know how hot it is that shit gonna sweat the hell out All right, so here we go with my little bun again, like my last video. Y'all really thought that I had a, a wig on in my last video. I thought that was the funniest thing ever, but y'all are so nice. Anyways, today we're going to be doing two braids instead of four or five because I just feel like big curly hair, you can kind of get away, unless it's a frontal, you can kind of get away with it being a closure and big and curly with, with two braids because you don't need your hair as flat, okay? So I put my hair and two damn braids and we called it a day okay and it worked out and it was cute so yeah i'm just throwing, i'm just throwing my hair up in two braids and then i'm not gonna be using a wig cap i'm gonna actually lay my baby hairs and um get my edges right because i plan on like tucking my hair behind my ears so i don't know i just was getting creative you know What the fuck? <laughs> in my head, that was gonna turn out so cute. I was gonna pull my head up and it's just gonna be beautiful, but hell nah. <laughs> All right, and that's actually gonna be it, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell, sis, because we are growing and we are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I appreciate all of y'all. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.